Welcome to day six of 25 days of Christmas. Today we're reading Isaiah chapter 42, verse one through two, which says, Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him, and he will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry aloud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a faintly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice, and he will not grow faint or be discouraged till he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands wait for his law. Man, I really love this passage because we see a picture of who Jesus is before his time on earth. This passage is an Old Testament prophecy of the Messiah who was to come, Jesus. And in fact, he had already come and fulfilled this prophetic word in Matthew chapter 12, verse 15 through 21. In Matthew, we read how Jesus healed a man with a withered hand, and the Pharisees wanted to kill Jesus. And Jesus, knowing this, he went away, and many followed after him. And there he healed them, and he spoke with them. And then he asked him not to make himself known, as he often did when he was healing the sick. And then it says in verse 18, the same passage that we read in Isaiah, that he fulfilled it in that moment. You know what I love about this passage? I love this picture of the bruised reed that he will not break and the smoldering wick that he will not blow out. This summer I had a tomato plant that I had a branch and it fell over and I could tell that it wasn't broken but it was just bruised and bent. So instead of breaking it, I made it a support for it to hold it up so that it can continue producing tomatoes that were on it. Sometimes that bruised reed is us. We get beat up. Sometimes we topple over and we get bruised. But Jesus comes to us and supports us while we heal. Instead of cutting us off, he helps us in our time of need. When our fire is burning low and we feel just like an ember, Jesus comes and blows a fresh wind on us and gets us going again. Jesus is the one who has come to make all things right again. He is the one that can heal all our wounds and ignite our hearts with passion for God. He is the one that our hope is in. My hope for you this, in this passage is that you won't lose hope no matter what you're going through. Remember that Jesus is kind and just and he can restore you no matter the hurt, no matter the wounds. Jesus is good and kind and he is the one that will make all things right.